Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. I am back with a haul video. I got a few things at Sephora, so I want to share my haul with you guys. It's all in this wonderful new bag they have now. This is part of the Made with Love um, for Mother's Day right now celebration. See what I got, okay? So, first things first, I got this Sephora Exfoliating Body Sponge in Bamboo Charcoal. So this one is basically for your body exfoliant. Um, it says here that you just got to put some warm water um, for three to five minutes. Let it soak in all the way and then gently squeeze out the water and then just gently massage in circular motions on your body. Um, you can put soap if you want to. Your body wash, you don't have to. You can just do it as is. Um, for anyone who maybe don't like using anything on their body, like they don't like, you guys don't like using any body wash or anything specific like that, you can just use this by itself because it is more of a natural sponge and you just use that to cleanse. So I really want to see how this works. The bamboo charcoal in this deep cleans properties and also effectively remove oil and dirt. It also gently massage with comfort and has a it's odorless and is also latex free so I can't wait to try this one out okay so next one up I was eyeing this one which is a bumble and bumble surf infusion spray so this one is an oil and salt infusion infused spray with for soft sea toss waves and sheen it says that you have to shake well before use it also came with a little brochure around there that I grabbed to read up on it and you how to use and style. So it says that you should pair it up with a surf spray if you want or you can just use the infusion itself. So I already own the surf spray myself. I feel that the surf spray is more, feels a little bit more like drier texture to my hair. I personally like my hair to feel soft still but I want that look. I want that beachy wave look, texturized look, but I don't want to feel like my hair is kind of dirty. So this one supposedly is supposed to give you more soft sea breeze texture. Um, here's one of the look of the girl on the picture here. So can't wait to try it. And then um, yeah, we'll try that one out. So this is the Surf Infusion Bumble and Bumble Hairspray. So. I'm just going to throw everything on the bed because I have no room on my desk right now. I need to clean. Next one up, I also want to mention that I picked up. This is YSL Mascara. Um, I already took all the boxes out pretty much. So this one is volumizing mascara. So I just need to replenish on this one. This one's actually really, really good. I like it a lot. It's definitely pricier. But it smells amazing. Yeah, it has this nice fragrance to it, and it doesn't bug me, and it just smells so luxurious. So I just picked one of those up again. I saw this guy. It's new, so I was, like, really interested. This is the um, Stretch X. Stretch X, yeah. Stretch X, Stretch Lash Effect Mascara. I'm kind of interested in this guy. I'm always in a new market for a new uh, mascara, so thought I'd try this one out. It says that it's supposed to give you extreme definition and lengthen I thought maybe that will help out for my lashes my tiny little lashes so I can't wait to try that one out I have I picked up a travel size of the Ula Henderson sheer transformation this is one of my all-time favorite moisturizers for my face the only thing is that it does not have any sunscreen protection so I do tend to have sunscreen in my makeup if I use a moisturizer that doesn't have sunscreen but um, I don't mind because it does feel super lightweight since I am combo oily in the t-zone it just feels nice on the skin it makes my skin feel supple um, moisturized enough to the point where I can still apply my primer and then my makeup and it looks seamless it's just that I wish it had sunscreen but if you guys didn't know, if you put anything with sunscreen in it, it's going to basically change the entire formulation of the cream or serum or whatever it is you're using. So have you ever noticed when you apply your sunscreen, like 
the regular sunscreen for your body, the thick ones, that you have, like banana boat, you have to rub it in. It's really, really white and thick. So anything with that in any other product will change the formulation. So it which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Um, I like this one a lot anyway still. I got a travel size just for when I um, go on vacation. I can just dump this in my little makeup bag and I can just slap this on before I leave the leave the house or leave the hotel and then also it sits well on all my skin under makeup too okie dokie next one I also want to mention this I picked up this Ula Henderson pure truth youth activating oil so this one has omega 3 6 and 9 if you didn't know what that is um, it's basically the omegas you would need to help protect the skin from any outside damage let's say the um, like pollution and smog and all that stuff it helps protect it. It kind of works as a barrier to the skin. This one is technically is a oil so it also helps anti-age too because it's youth activating. Um, it does help lighten your brighten your skin as well to even skin tone if you have any like scarring like I do. I have some acne scars here and there that I want to lighten. This will help with that too. You can mix this with that moisturizer or any other moisturizer you do have. Just put like a pump with it and then rub it in and apply it to your face or you can use it just as is you can use it in the morning or at night so either or will be great so it's a good way to take care of your skin if you don't have time yep so very very good and you can also use that for your neck as well for anti-aging so apply upwards i picked up this apericone md no bronzer bronzer because i was running low on mine um and this one does have SPF 30. So if you guys don't know about the Paracone and the No Makeup Makeup line, he came out with the No Makeup Makeup line. It's technically a skincare, but it's also makeup at the same time because that's all the hype right now. So basically what you would do is apply it and then it just looks like your regular skin. But it technically is still kind of makeup. But no one will know that you're really wearing it because it does seamlessly sit on the skin so smoothly. It also has um, neuropeptides in it. What that is is that it will help basically regulate and amplify your natural um, cell turnover and also your natural body to heal itself. Everything in the ingredients of Paracone line has has that neuropeptide which helps boost the speed of it to help heal anything and also help with you know basically making your skin look more younger and anti-aging so really good stuff all the products has SPF the makeup line the no makeup makeup line so SPF 30 and everything I also picked up a lip tar I don't have this shade this is is in shade role play so I picked that up it's called belief believe in the truth the truth cream aqua balm our belief to deliver instant moisture explosion with ladies mantle a hydration herb it's like that it's kind of like a jelly form when you shake it it kind of wiggles and jiggles it smells so good how does it smell it smells fresh and clean and have a hint of like a aqua smell kind of like that cleanse refresh scent and it's just gives you that nice moisture so they have different forms of this moisturizer so since I am more combo oily they I have I got the um, like the jelly form moisturizer they do have a regular thicker cream version if you are drier and it just moisturizes so well yeah I can't wait to use this on my face because it's gonna definitely relieve a lot of like dryness this this refreshing gel cream provides weightless yet long-lasting hydration. You can apply it to your neck and your face. I can't wait to try that one. They gave me a sample of Power Peel, um, the three steps. So you have the by Ula Henderson. So you have step one, which is almond polish. Step two, which is lemon strip. Step three, which is chamomile comfort. I got. The new um, Sugar Fresh Lip Balm. This is in shade Nude. So I'm I'm like a collector when it comes to these sugar lip balms. Um, they are a little pricey, but they feel so good on the lips. It's definitely a luxurious item. And they all have this smell to it. It smells kind of like citrusy, like lemon. 
very, very faint, not overwhelming at all. And this is a nude shade, so I can't wait to try that shade. So that one is the Sugar Nude Fresh Lip Balm. Uh, Dior um, Brow Styler. So I never really tried Dior's Brow Styler. Now the hair, my hair is lighter. Um, this one says that it's a universal color, universal brown. And I do have kind of like a reverse ombre, so my ends are darker. And I'm hoping that this will match like my ends a little bit. Um, that's not what I'm wearing right now, but this is um, the MAC Eyeshadow Ultra. So I'm going to see if this works, just because it's so much trouble to do the regimen I do for my eyebrows right now. I have to use the MAC Mix and Medium and the eyeshadow and then all these other things. So I'm hoping this will just work by itself. So that's the Dior Brow Styler. Speaking of Dior, I also picked up one of the Dior new glosses. So a lot of people have been raving about these glosses, saying that it's really pigmented and soft and whatnot. So I thought I'd pick one up. I picked a pink one up, which is number 775, is what it's called. Darling is what it's called. The numbers and letters are so small, I can barely read this myself. So it's like a hot pink color like a fuchsia more of my type you would say the color so I can't wait to try it the packaging is super super cute too like I love the little Dior texture here they always have their classic texture and speaking of glosses I also got the new Urban Decay um, Revolution lip glosses so these I don't believe is out yet um, this one is in shade Bittersweet, which is the purple color. If you, if you guys know and watch my videos for a long time now, my favorite color is still purple and will be. And um, I just love purple, so I thought I'd give this a try. Packaging is really, really different. It's kind of like a flat finish to it. Um, and then when I open it, the, the wand tubing is actually clear, so that's a little different too. And then you have... The wand itself is not really like a dome foot wand, but it is similar. It's a little cushiony to it. So, if you guys want me to do any like more in-depth review of any of these products, leave a comment below and let me know if which one and, you know, then I know that you guys want to see it or else I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to try these out myself on the side. So, can't wait to try that. It says it's a high color lip gloss, so it should be like similar to, I guess, similar to Anastasia's gloss. But we'll see. And I picked up also this new, this is fairly new. This is the Cary Gran um, Lip Whip. And this one is Peppermint Tinted. So. It comes in like a quite heavy duty jar. I think it's made out of glass, like a, those thick glass, I don't know what it's called. And then it looks like that, like a little pink under inside, like a whip. So it feels really whippy and soft. It feels almost like Vaseline. So hopefully it's almost similar to it and then it just gives you super hydration and it does smell like um, mint, of course. This was the color and the and the scent is peppermint tinted. So, can't wait to try that and see if it hydrates my lips very well or not. Especially, um, you know, in the flash of my eye, it's going to be winter soon, even though it's summer right now. The little tiny polish. This is the Sheer Strength from Formula X Collection. So, they have plenty of little guys like these right now. Go out and get yours. This is just basically a um, strengthener lacquer, but has a little bit of a pink tint to it. Really, really cute for right now, spring and summer. So to include with my other Ula Shear Transformation Moisturizer, I picked up an invig invigorating night gel in travel size as well. So I can use it on the go and when I'm on vacation. So this one is basically also great for all skin types. And it is a moisturizer. Since I am combo skin, I like a little bit more of a gel formulation moisturizers. So this is just basically a night gel for nighttime. So. You can apply it on your face and neck, nightly. 
one is the LTA Cologne Mandarin Glacial. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but LTA, um, they only make colognes, so for men and women. Um, there's unisex, so they're going to be more potent in scent. I'm going to spray a little bit of this and see how it smells. Hmm. It's definitely different than what I usually like. It smells more like a earthy citrus, um, like it says Mandarin, and um, orangey scent to it. Then we have a campfire. It kind of smells a mixture of that. It brings me to like the f when I smell it and sniff it. It brings me. It, I envision me at like a cabin out in the woods enjoying the nature and have like a fireplace going and cooking everything retro wearing plaid shirts <laughs> that's what it brings me to immediately when I smell this it smells really good it's not something I would personally like go out and like always get every day but it's definitely different that I need to my collection so that's the Atelier Cologne um, in Mandarin Mandarin Glacial. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but yeah. So last but not least, my item is this Ula Henderson Truce Collagen Booster. So I just had to replenish another one of this. I picked up a to-go size because I still have the big size at home. I just want to carry that with me when I go traveling and go on vacation. This is like my all-time favorite. It helps with like everything. So it covers all the bases of like lightening my scarring, it helps brighten my skin a little bit more, more radiance, and also help tighten my pores. It just makes everything look seamlessly smooth again, and even skin. So this is once again the Ula Henderson Truth Serum Collagen Booster. So go out and get it if you guys want to try it out, get the small size so you see if you love it or not before you buy the invest in the big one. But yeah, that wraps up everything. Thanks for watching. That wraps up my haul. I have nothing left in the bag. It's all empty now. Nothing left. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys later. Bye.